happy day i am your grade 8 computer science teacher today we are going to see a topic a software uh, topic on chapter 2 introduction to ms access so basically you must have uh, uh, come across uh, many softwares like word excel and powerpoint right now this is ms access is a database uh, related software so we would be which would be really helpful uh, for maintaining any type of records so let's get into the lesson and let's know what are the topics we are going to see today the topic we are going to cover today in ms access is introduction dbms what is dbms and its advantage what is database concept how we have to start ms access and components of ms access Let's get into the lesson students and let us know what is MS Access in detail. Interaction to MS Access. So what is database? What do you mean by database? Database is nothing but it's a collection of data of particular information. Okay. Before I uh, get into in detail about the database, I would like to quote you an example. So students, uh, you're all starting in with school. Yeah, we are the students of San Academy. Okay. So how do you all get information from the school as when the online class is going to happen? Or uh, what is that? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, when you need to pay the fees or any details or how do the school contact us? Do you know that? How do the uh, office room people or whoever uh, is there in the school who knows who would like to contact us or inform us? Yeah, they have the database in a school. Not only school, any organization if we take, data is very mandatory, right? So if we need any information of the particular uh, person or people inside the work area, you require their details, right? So then only they will be able to know, um, so what is the number of particular person? So where is their house address, etc. So basically, this acts uh, the same thing in the Microsoft Access. This is a database soft tool which will enable us to have a good command of a data collected. That means it will help us as how to store data and how to retrieve, summarize, even if you wanted to keep these reports or whatever it is. And it is like uh, through this file, we can create a relationship and can also make data and entry in a more effective and accurate way. Not only in the school students, in many workplaces, like if you take like um, a lab or in a medical field, say hospital or any environment, data is very important, important to know about a particular person or to store in that part information about them. So let's get into detail to the next slide and see what is uh, what information we are going to learn about it. So here, yeah, database management system, which is called as DBMS. The full form of DBMS is Database Management System. So this is a software or a package set of programs that allows to create, extract from an update database. That means, database means what? What will you usually have? When you wanted to have, uh, have the information, can any guesses, can anyone say? Yes? Yes? Okay. Right. All right. Let me tell you in the, tell, tell, tell you, open up and tell you that. So basically, we require a name, telephone number, address, uh, the location and the pin location and whatever it is, right? So what does it say? DBMS software, that means which allows us to software that creates a package that's a package which allows to create a data that means to store various information right so we can perform what are the functions we can perform in it we can sort the data sorting means either by alphabetical order or pin code wise or even by uh, location or anything we can modify modify means if any address change is there so we can edit it or we can delete it or we can do any changes. Modify is basically changing. Apply query or retry, uh, retrieve the data. That means if you have any, wanted any doubts or any information on it or you want to retrieve any data, it is used and search. So like there will be many, many datas like 
So searching is an uh, area where it will help us to search information and also tell us as um, uh, to give this the uh, if you want say for example you wanted to uh, retrieve data of Amit. So if you just in search column if you just type Amit the data will be given to us and pro produce reports produce reports means especially in the market so when you go to a store so if they want any uh, reports of basically like you know commodities or anything in related to business they have types of reports so in many types of um, say work field these database management we can itself create it according to our usage this can be done advantages of dbms okay so um, advantages means what what is it so when we learn about the software what all the advantages we get inside okay so what is all the advantage we can share our data and data uh, redundancy data inconsistency confidentiality and highly securable so let me explain to you about this each point in detail now let's know what is sharing of data so do you all know what is sharing of data right sharing of data means what different uses uh, a database which we can access the data according to their needs okay and next one redundancy data redundancy that means duplication of data and uh, duplication of data means what a customer name uh, the database of the customer can be duplicated. That is two times it may be recorded. So that is called redundancy, right? So data inconsistency. Inconsistency means what? To avoid data, to which helps us to avoid data inconsistency. That means in single database by multiple user, they can also ensure that the same information about them can be present for all users say like if one user wanted a particular information we can also use the same type of the source information whatever we do it in the fields that we can add it okay confidence uh, confidentiality confidence means what to be very confident you do not to you know say the information to others to keep it in a very confidential way right highly securability that means what to keep your information on a secured manner yes let's uh, see what is we have for the next one database concept so concept means what basically it's like their concept means what does it it consist of so a database consists of a fields records and files students now you can see a diagram which I have been uh, enclosed here so this diagram shows so now can you see in a column called ID, first name, last name of fields, this has been created. So these the top one, can you see the arrows, this is called as fields. And can you see this uh, names and everything, what is these called as rows. And you, you know what is a column, these are the columns, the straight one, right. So what is a data concept consist of fields, records and files. So now. So you learned about what is database, DBMS and everything. Now I know you all will be one ma'am you told about the database and information. How do we have to get into the software? Right? You will all have the doubt. Am I right? Yes. So before further delay let me tell you how to start MS Access. Okay. So Microsoft Access is a part of Microsoft Office Suite. Microsoft Office Suite means what? It's a program there are Microsoft Office what is Microsoft it's a type of a software so there are lots of software which is being done so you all must have come across Word Excel so Word is what typing documents Excel we use it especially for some calculation so access this is a one of the Microsoft uh, product suit is nothing but a product we call it as so, uh, so which uh, gives you, this is a product which we use for database to store our data about a particular person or a particular information, data. Okay. So, how do we start? Starting MS Access. So, we need to click on Start All Programs 
and we need to click on Microsoft Office and we, then we need to click on Access. Okay? So ma'am, you said click on Start ma'am, All Program ma'am, Microsoft Office and Access. So um, I know it would be much clearer if I show it on a live, right? Students, yes. Here we go. I'll show you the software live. How does it look and how do we need to proceed further? So students, with this, I stop this part one of uh, Microsoft Office. So see you on the continuation video of part two. Thank you, students.